the islands of summer and lately were one solid mass. I'm the only one in City Hall, what's in MacArthur. <laughs> Tita, give us a little background about Tacloban City. How is Tacloban before Yolanda, during the Yolanda time, and after Yolanda? Tacloban was then a municipality, a town of Samar. And Basay was the capital. Because in those very early age, the islands of Samar and Lake were one solid mass. And I think a natural disaster like an earthquake separated the two and thus was what well, became the San Juanico Strait, separating the island of Samar from the island of Lake And since Lake T, uh, the Cloban was on this side, so it became a, a, a municipality in the, or a town in Leyte, on the island of Leyte. So it was in 1953 that then Speaker Danieling Romualdez filed a bill in Congress converting the municipality of the Cloban into a chartered city. But it was during the time of Mayor Alfred Romualdez, barely one year that he was a mayor, that the Cloban from a chartered city became a highly urbanized city. And a highly urbanized city meant that we were no longer under the political jurisdiction of the provincial government of Leyte. That all the ordinances of the, of the Sangguniang Pangungusun did not have to be approved by the Sangguniang Panlalawigan. And that funds from the national government would no longer pass through the provincial government and given to us because we found out in the years 2001 to 2005, we were getting an annual income of 90 million from the national government, but in those five years, we barely got 27.5 million. Where did the rest go? It was not given by the provincial government of Leyte to the city of the Cloban. Now, even our mayor, before he can travel abroad, he has to ask the permission and the approval of the provincial governor. And so, the city government of the Cloban is a chartered city, wrote to then President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, who approved our request. But then, you cannot have a, an, an HUC, a highly urbanized city, unless the people in a plebiscite will vote for it. And the people of the Cloban, majority of the people of the Cloban voted overwhelmingly to make the Cloban a highly urbanized city. Now, it is not just highly urbanized. I could say it is becoming highly, highly urbanized. Tita, where were you during uh, Yolanda? During Yolanda, since I was the city information officer and I have no family here, because although I am from Tacloban, born here 86 years ago, at the age of 18, when my parents sent me to Manila to study at UST Second Year College, I met a Cebuano and not even a year had passed, I married a Cebuano and after graduation, we both went to Cebu and we raised our family there. Even until today, I live in Cebu but I work here. Before Yolanda, I go home every Friday and come back early Monday. But after Yolanda, I said, enough is enough. Tita Yolanda happened in uh, 2013, November 2013. Yes, November So, uh, you're turning three in November, this coming November. Ano na po ang improvement, ano na po ang uh, nakapag-move on na ba ang uh, Tacloban after Yolanda? I will quote Al Gore, the former U.S. Vice President. He saw pictures of, of uh, Tacloban, video shots of Tacloban as ground zero. When he came here last month, he said to himself, this is a miracle. 
I cannot believe that what I saw two and a half years ago is what I am seeing now. The improvement is terrific. You know, we Taklobanons, we have repaired our wounds, we have counted our blessings, and we have moved into the future. Because Taklobanons are not only resilient, they are not only survivors, they are resilient and they have prevailed. We have prevailed. Uh, anong yung pinagmamalaki po ng Tacloban? It's people. You know, in Waray, we are called maisog. In Tagalog, matatapang. matatapang. Because the Waray will not tolerate any injustice that is done to any of it. They will not, they will not uh, uh, tolerate any abuses against our fellow warais, any case of injustice done to us. That is why my sister, for example, says, Bering, you are causing trouble. Why will you solve a person's problems when they are not your own? He is defenseless. He cannot speak for himself. He cannot defend himself. Why am, why can I, a fellow warai, not help him? And so I don't care if people get mad at me. I will help a fellow Waray. This is a Waray speak. Okay, Tita. Uh, ano po yung mga landmarks ng Tacloban that you can share with us na what, para puntahan ng mga turista? What I would say is, Tacloban is the center of the region. We are the educational center. We are the financial center. We are the cultural center. And we are the gateway to the other provinces. So Tacloban does not have much to say for itself by way of tourism. Of course, we have our beaches. And my friend was saying, spell it, spell it. <laughs> it's B-E-A-C-H-E-S. Okay, we have the white beach, the red beach, and the, the these were color-coded by the Americans. During liberation, San Jose of Tacloban was called White Beach. Palo was called Red Beach. And Dulang was called Blue Beach. This was just a color coding for the soldiers. But pero, our White Beach is terrific. Pero meron pa rin, aside from the beaches that you have, marami pa rin tayong attraction. Parang yung, uh, of course, but MacArthur Landing. Apo. Sabihin niyo lahat. But Sabihin that lahat. is not really Tacloban anymore. That's Palo. Okay. But MacArthur's Landing was okay. just coincidentally Palo because he had to be in the middle of White Beach and Blue Beach. But his target was Tacloban. As a matter of fact, the press, U.S. President then was Roosevelt and the Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America did not like MacArthur to land in Leyte. They wanted to go to Formosa first and then attack Tokyo. But General MacArthur, who had been a first lieutenant in Leyte soon after his graduation from West Point, said, Tacloban is it. If you don't like, then I will not be Commander-in-Chief. You better listen to me. And they all listened to him, and they were able to make Tacloban the target of the Lake Eilandi. So, Palo was just, it's just a coincidence that Palo is in Red. Uh, red Beach is in Palo. And he had to land in the center of white and blue. But then his target was Tacloban because he did not even enter the town of Palo. He came straight to Tacloban. And fortunately, I am one, I think I'm the only one in City Hall, what's seen MacArthur. <laughs> Tita, what happened to the People's Center? Parang naging flea market na lang po. Both the Chantunini Shrine and the People's Center were Overtaken or no, uh, taken over by the PCGG. Even Olo, the, the house of Mrs. Marcos in Tolosa was taken over, and even the toilet bowl was taken away 
<laughs> so it is PCGJ that is responsible for the deterioration of the only library that a global ever had. Being mayor, because of protocol, he cannot afford to say certain things, but I can. At this age, when I am about to knock at the door of heaven asking for admission, I cannot, I don't dare tell a lie. And so what you get is nothing but nothing else but the truth.